Welcome back. You know, the idea of owning less has real appeal, right? Just simplifying everything. Well, it makes things simple when you just clean it all up, right? And when it comes to minimalist fashion, the same thing applies to your wardrobe. Keep it simple with streamlined shapes, colors, and even a smaller number of pieces in your closet. It can be done, apparently. I don't know, but Darcy says it. Stylist Darcy Camden says fewer clothes may translate to more outfits that you'll actually wear. So you're talking about, okay, minimalist capsule wardrobe, 15 to 20 items in my whole closet? Yeah, and I think most people have a closet full of stuff, like hundreds of things, and they struggle to put 12 great outfits together. So this yeah. could be really a great option for people who are feeling overwhelmed and want to simplify. You've got several tips. The first one is pick your neutrals. So according to me, there are eight neutrals. According Black, to you. gray, brown, navy, white, ivory, camel, and olive green. And I always recommend for everyone to pick their favorite three to four neutrals and then shop within that color palette. Neutral colors tend to mix and match very well together. You can wear them over and over without having it be too memorable. So on top of the neutrals, you say pick the basics or start with the basics. What are the basics? You want good foundation pieces like the perfect t-shirt. And I know everyone is sort of struggling over this idea of the elusive perfect t-shirt. So I'm just gonna tell you what I think the perfect t-shirt is. You you have the perfect t-shirt right there. I do. It's by this company called A Lynn. This is like a designer t-shirt, but this is gonna be like a foundation piece. You know, we're talking like 60 bucks, but you're going to wear this a lot. You're buying less, so it's okay to spend a little bit more. And I just love this company so much. These shirts are so delicious. They are just yummy and soft, and they have a really great option to customize fit. So you can do long, you can do short, you can make sure that it's perfect for you. Okay, yes. and then you say there are hero hybrids. What are hero hybrids? So in fashion, we call the pieces that we use over and over again, hero pieces. We love them, we use them a lot. And my favorite hero pieces are always hybrids, combination of two different ideas. So you can do, so they can really do a lot for you. All right. So like, for example, let me show you the Jardigan, this is by a company called M.M. LaFleur, which just in general, M.M. LaFleur is great for anyone who's a minimalist shopper, mm. interested in neutrals. They have great virtual styling. It's all there. So the Jardigan is a combo of like a jacket and a cardigan. Feels like a sweater, polished like a blazer. You can wear it with jeans. You can wear it with slacks. You can literally wear it day after day with everything. And it is just beautiful and it will do so much for you. So this is a situation of like owning one thing, but it does like three or four things for you in your wardrobe. All right. Tip number four, prioritize comfort and care. I like this one. The idea is that you're gonna be wearing these things over and over and over again, so they have to be comfortable for you. Otherwise, what's the point? You're gonna be miserable and just comfy clothes in general, but loungewear has a very important place in a capsule wardrobe. I'm gonna introduce you now to a company called Encircled out of Canada, amazing sustainable fashion, and they have just gorgeous, cozy pieces and really thoughtful, like this cozy dress it's reversible mm -hmm. and it has two different necklines. So it's really like two different dresses, feels like pajamas. That's what you want. And yeah. also care of these garments. So you're getting these cozy things, you're wearing them over and over again. Care and comfort really go hand in hand. So I always recommend getting wool light and wool light dark and washing the pieces in my capsule wardrobe. I take extra care. I wash them separately. I give them a little bit extra love. And I'm also thinking about when I wear that long dress, put the jardigan to hide my mommy tummy, which is another great reason for the jardigan. Uh, number five, choose a disruptor. 
So a disruptor is something in a bright color that you can wear all the time with everything. And it really shakes up the whole outfit, shakes up your whole wardrobe and brings a little bit of personality. So a couple ideas to do that. I love doing it in accessories. Yeah. So these rain boots by a company called Mary People out of Australia, and they're available locally at Clementine's, which is one of my favorite places. Bright, fun yellow. You can wear these in the rain or on a cold day. You know, you could be wearing all black and then this and bam, there's your pop of interest. And then I also love these. These are by Mam Shoes, which is a sustainable, awesome shoe company out of LA. I just love these so much. They're super, super comfortable. And yeah. the color is just gorgeous. Or, if, you know, color isn't your thing. You could even go with some sort of light, lighter neutral with a great texture. This is a bag by a company called Lulu Dharma. It's vegan. It's under $100. And you say the last tip, though, is to be okay with less. Like, I don't need all this stuff, right? Yeah, so I do a lot of capsule wardrobe building for people and helping them get to owning less. The most common reaction when we get a capsule wardrobe done is people look at it and go, oh, that's it? Like it packs into a suitcase, like living out of a suitcase for the rest of your life. And so really think about that if you embark to do this. Like it's going to take effort to find the things and carefully curate a, a selection of things that you love and be okay with wearing things over and over again, taking care of your items. And I find that a helpful mantra for people. So I say, repeat after me. The opposite of more is enough. Ooh, is enough. All right, well, coming up next, the 1940s ushered in film noir, the cinematic genre popular in Hollywood crime and dramas. When we come back, the new book takes a look at style in the movies and art. In fact, I pretty much go full film noir for this interview, so stick around.